about how to grow moringa really cheap it is one of the healthiest trees in the world has all kind of uh, good nutritional benefits the leaves you can eat the seeds the seeds are kind of nasty in my opinion but the leaves are good mixed in with other things or in a smoothie or you can powder them there's so many different things that you could do with this tree see when I started uh, a few months ago these are maybe a month old so you get you a pot fill it with some soil and then spread your seeds out uh, about an inch apart and you get a pretty good germination rate you can buy these on Etsy or eBay get like a thousand seeds for 20 ish dollars and you make you a whole bunch of them rather than buying they sell them at nurseries you know for maybe thirty dollars for but that would be a good four foot tree uh, so you, you do this you start them on your own you start a bunch of them and they are cold sensitive the trees can uh, when they get more mature can take down around 25 degrees Fahrenheit or so uh, or you can what some people do is in the winter time right before you get that first frost cut it down just to a trunk and throw some sort of insulation around it or straw and to keep it good through the winter time make it survive and then in the spring you take all that off and then let it come back and you got a super good start but or you can grow them as an annual uh, now it, it, it does have a pretty good germination rate but since you're getting that many seeds uh, it, it, it is very easy look here's some more little pots of them this one so some of these had transferred like this I didn't necessarily wait long enough the root systems weren't super developed so put some of them in pots and they died back a little bit and came back strong so they are quite vigorous they can get absolutely humongous thing to be careful for especially heard in Hawaii they can be quite invasive they do spread in tropical uh, very easily so if you're in a tropical area be careful where you plant these and if you're in an area that gets a good frost you won't have to worry about them becoming invasive because that frost would stop the uh, invasiveness of it I say definitely get you some moringa get you some seeds but buy you a start if you want don't start them from cuttings and y'all have a great day